Hey, how's it going? In the last video, we finally built our first base here on Ark Survival Ascended. Turned out fantastic, man. Nice little cabin right here on the water. Very large boat dock. The problem is we're missing one key component. And that is a boat. So we've got some stairs going down into the water. It's kind of nice for getting up and down while you're trying to do stuff. And then it'll help out whenever we dock our raft in right here to get up here easily. However, it does allow the turtles to kind of climb up here. So I'm hoping once we get the raft set there, it should kind of keep those guys out. And then I want to do some exploring. Two places I want to go today. One is out to Herbivore Island. And then the other place is kind of around over there. There's a little mountain on the other side that has some crystal up there. Want to do some exploring. See if that is still there. We are going to need crystal for stuff here soon. So that's kind of the goal for today. I also want to check out once we get back from all that and see how the dyes are. There's a lot of new dyes if you didn't know. I want to check out some of the darker colors here as well as the blue. Now if you didn't know, my favorite color is blue, man. Love it. Having these new blue colors, I'm ex super excited about seeing how they turn out. We'll actually paint our clothes a little bit. Let's grab some stuff though and then we'll go ahead and get our raft made. Let's drop off these guys here and we'll put our food over here. All right, so for the raft, it shouldn't be too expensive. Let's grab this, some of that. What else do we need? A little bit of hide. A little bit more hide. We're <laughs> a little heavy on weight, dude. A little heavy on weight. And there's one raft there. So that'll kind of work out. I want to take one of the storage boxes with us just to have some extra weight in case we need it. Missing some thatch. We'll get one of those. Let's make two, just in case. And I want to make a bed. That way we can put it on the boat. So if for some reason we die, I mean, not if for some reason, it's whenever we die, we can actually respawn somewhat near our stuff. Now we are taking the Parasaur with us just for carrying our weight. I want to grab the crystal and then grab a little bit of metal if we can. All depends on what's still there. That should be all of our stuff there. We're good on food. Water's going to be in the water. And I think we're kind of set. I do got some metal smelting up here. We've got 20 minutes left on the fuel. That should be fine. Most of that should be smelted up by the time we get back. Let's go ahead and close our door. Keep the compies out. Let's get the boat out here first, and then we'll grab the Parasaur and throw them up here. So there we go, man. One raft. Looks about the same. New textures, of course. Let's go ahead and remove this sail like we normally do. No sail. We'll set a box on this side. Actually, both of them will go right here. Really like how things clip together like that. I need to put another bed up on our base. I keep forgetting to make a second one. And then the railings on top, I'll remove those right after I was done recording. I want to put something else up there as a kind of like a roof topper. The railings look cool, but they're they're like super tall, dude. Kind of sticked up a little bit more than I liked. I think we're good here. Let's go ahead and grab the Parasaur. So I got Junior up here. Kind of keeps him a little bit safe. Let's just keep an eye on him, huh, buddy? Almost ran out of food again. But I want to get a compost bin made whenever we come back. Start getting stuff ready for our fertilizer. Now we're a little ways away from making our greenhouse because we need so much of the crystal. But having the compost bins run now, it'll help us out to where whenever we are ready, we'll have plenty of the fertilizer. Let's turn you around. Please do not knock over the tree. Let's put your point into weight. There's no really use in putting points into health on this guy. It's, it's, it's super low, dude. 400 on the health. One bite of anything, he's dead as it is. I think we can actually get up over here on the stairs. I'm hoping. Now watch out for the piranhas, dude. They'll nibble your little toes for sure. There we go. There we go. Put you right here at the back by me. So it looks like it is deep enough here for the raft, right? Oh, it is. It is. Plenty of clearance, man. Plenty of clearance. All right. So our first boating trip. <laughs> I hope it's deep enough over here to be able to get the boat out because like I said right up there It used to be deep going that way and there's rocks there So you can't actually go all the way up on the raft now Genesis 2 has the canoes cannot wait to get the canoes man Really looking forward to that. So where we're going like I said is over here We'll probably do that first to grab our crystal and stuff. There's some problems over there one there are sarcos sometimes two there are spinos sometimes there are raptors all the time, and then we got to watch out because we are near the swamp, so not too sure how that's going to work out. Wouldn't mind taking a look at the swamp, probably not today. Is that a shark in front of us? I want to jump in and see how they look. I know, I know, we're not going to die. If we do, we got a bed right here. 
Want to see how those have changed or not changed? Let's put you on passive. I do not want you jumping in the water, buddy. Stay up there, okay? That's slightly terrifying. I really wish they were a lot bigger, right? The Megalodons? Maybe like the size of a Leeds or a little bit smaller? Kind of cool. And I want to take one more look before we head over and see how it is off the side of this shelf here. It's kind of where it drops off like super deep. There's a lot of oil and then the silica pearls and stuff down here, as well as jellyfish for getting our biotoxin. I mean, of course, we're not ready to get in the, the deep waters yet at all. Yep, drop straight off. <laughs> Terrifying, dude. Do you imagine whenever you see like a moza or a squid coming for you with the new water texture? It's kind of cool, man. Kind of cool, dude. All right. It's going to be kind of a long swim around, but we're going to kind of like hug near the shore because of leads. Not sure if they're still in the game, or I mean, not in the game, but on this side of the island. Sometimes they're down here, sometimes they're not. I am really happy, though, that this little stretch of land here they actually did something with. Now, in ASC, if you haven't played it, it was just all barren. It was kind of like some, some rocks. There was no trees or grass or anything. It was really just an area to avoid because nothing was there. But, dude, it looks so nice now with all of the uh, updated textures and stuff. Tell you, man, nothing like a nice day out on the water. It's always a good thing. That is until the leads comes and finds you. Here is the kind of inlet that we're going to. Like I said, we got to watch out for the sarcos if there are some. I'm not too sure if all the resources are in the same location. And then something else I want to check out. Where we're going to has Explorer Notes. I think those are still a thing in ASA. Hopefully it is because we get a huge XP bonus. So we'll try to grab one of those before we start harvesting up all of our... Please, seagulls, do not steal from me. Before we start harvesting up all of our metal and stuff and crystal kind of get that extra bonus right a lot of seagulls a lot of seagulls i cannot wait to get some of the plant species oh there's raptors up here that's what i was worried about that's exactly where we're going to is right there they're chasing after that parasaur so we do have the the holler that the parasaur does we might be able to use that to scare them off however they got to be kind of right close to you right I'm not sure what level this is. This might be not even worth it. Please do not let us die here. I do not want to die right here. I don't want to die right here. Please don't jump up on my raft. It's a level 130. Okay, look. We are not safe. Can we hit you? We can't. Can you hit us? You can't. So, hmm. That's kind of interesting. Let's try that. Scare them away. Shoot them while they're running. Not sure what level this one is. That's the one we were shooting at there. Maybe we can kill him off. If they go to the other side, that's fine. I mean, that is until we go to leave because we have to go out that way. Yup, yup. It's not cool. The cooldown on the Parasaur is not going to work out for us either. He's getting bloody, right? He's not. He's not. <laughs> Look, we have to get some, some aggressive teams here before too long. I got most stuff set up for doing some taming. Holler again, dude. You can't. What's the cooldown timer on that? Are we okay right here? Somewhat. I mean, we're not okay. We're not safe, that's for sure. We'll holler one more time. Whenever he's ready. Oh, it's up there. We got over a minute left. That is not going to work, dude. All right, well, let's sit here for a minute. Sit here for a minute. Holler for them to leave again, and then we might just try to finish killing them off. We've only got 14 left on our arrows. It's a problem. I mean, that 130 is a problem. The other one's a level 15. We can kill that guy off. We can bowl of the other one. I'm kind of shy on the arrows, though. There we go. You getting bored? I wanted to stay out from under the raft. Oh, that's a 130. I want to shoot the other one. Yeah, that one we should be able to kill off easy. <gasps> they broke our, our stuff, dude. Why is there not collision on the raft? I'm just saying, dude. I'm just saying. How are you looking? 17 seconds. Okay. Okay. You guys are going to pay for tearing up my stuff. I want my arrows back, too. Those are expensive. Probably should have made some more. Should have made a pike or the crossbow before we left. I didn't think about it, man. Look, there's a lot of stuff going on. A lot of new things I want to check out. I forgot. It happens. There we go. Run away, dude. Run away. Where's the other one? I want to kill that one off first. He's dead. Perfect. Oh, 
I want to kill you too, though. Go that way. So he doesn't have the bonus anymore. Yeah. He's got to be out of stamina. I wish Wild Dinos... There we go, man. Wild Dinos had stamina. There's piranhas! I just said that! I'm not the brightest sometimes, okay? I'll be the first to admit that. Why are you running again? Let's turn around. Let's turn the boat around. I will turn this boat around! Maybe. I missed the motorboat, man. You actually have reverse on it. So there we go. Well, the, uh... The storage isn't gonna work. Are we okay? Somewhat okay? I think he's just running from earlier. We killed the two rappers off that we saw. Seagull. I don't see anything else. Kind of nervous. Not gonna lie, super nervous about going up here. There is a lot of raptors, obviously, but sometimes there's a Carno over here as well. And then on the other side, kind of goes down by... There's Trudons. It kind of goes down by the swamp. There's, um, everything else. You got Capros, you've got the snakes, you got Sarkos. We good? You are right? <laughs> Where we're going to is right up here, though. But yeah, I want to see if the Explorer note's up here. It'd be kind of cool if it is. Now, it's not going to help out for the Parasaur very much because he's got such a low level. But I mainly want it for us. I'm hoping that the Crystal's still up here. What level are you? I do need a Pterodon soon. Level 50. Hmm. So, we need to see what we need for the saddle. We should be high enough level for that. And the main thing we're missing is Chitin. We'll see if we can find some of the Dragonflies while we're up here. Kill them off with the Parasaur and try to get them harvested. I think we're good for the most part up here, right? I think so. Up here should be the Explorer Note if it's still here. It's always on top of the biggest mountain right here. Oh, it's still here! Fantastic! Kind of hidden in the grass. I have always tried to maintain. Nice, man. Nice! Alright, so there's some levels on the Parasaur. Put that all into weight. And there's the crystal! Oh, fantastic. I'm glad that it's still here. So, three points. He's up to 800 pounds, and what about us? We got two. So we got, health is at 220, weight is at 220. Let's get the fortitude up to, let's say, 50. What level are we? We're 47. What do we have here for unlocks? Anything that I'm excited about? I mean, we got the long neck and stuff. I do want to make some of those here soon. We got a shotgun. Maybe we should start carrying the long neck with us. And the shotgun. Possibly. Might make that whenever we get back to base, if we have enough of the metal. The ammo for the shotgun is super expensive right now, though. Maybe we'll make a long neck and use that. I want to see how the scope works and stuff. And then what do we have for... There's a fabricator. That's at the next level. And then where's the grill at? Level 50. Is that a new texture? That looks different, dude! We're not too far from that. That's not too expensive either. Main thing I think we're going to be missing is polymer for that. We're not going to play with the penguins. It's the only place I know of to get organic polymer right now. Oh, that is horrible. What's with the sound on that now? That's like the sound whenever you break the greenhouse glass. I'm not a fan of that. Oh, dude, that is like one of the, <laughs> one of the worst sounds in the world. So I did quite a bit of the metal harvesting over by base. And I tried taking a look at all the nodes before I actually hit them with the pick. And it seems like all of them are the same texture. You can't really tell which one has more metal. So I'm not too sure I like that or not. Unless they all have the same amount. I, I swear I was getting some that had more metal in it than others. I don't want to fill up too much on metal or stone here. Seeing how we don't have the storage boxes back at the raft. But I do want to grab some while we're here. Might as well. I think I've kind of already mined up most of the metal that's over by base. So I am in the market for it. And if you didn't know, this area right here where we're at, there is so much metal, dude. So much metal! You've got it up here. You've got it all down on that side. That side. And then on the other side of the cliff right here. Ton of it, dude. Ton of it! I think what I'll do is... Trash this stone if we have to. Main thing I want, though, is the crystal. Can't remember what we needed it for. But I know that we do need it. We got another point. So I wanted to get the Explorer note before we started harvesting. 
Let's see, do we have any more crystal? Before we get any more of the metal? What's around here? Is that one of the monkeys? I hear you! I don't see you, though. Oh, there he is there! Oh, wait, that's a dodo. I thought it was one of the monkeys! There are some around here. There's some more crystal right here. Now, I do want to get some of those plant species as soon as possible, though, for keeping the seagulls away at base. It's just... Ah, dude. A trip into the swamp is not a good thing. Now, there's another swamp, if you didn't know, that is on the other side of the map over there. And it's a little bit safer to go to because it's it's right on the water. So you can take your raft right up to it. I'm going to go ahead and harvest most of this metal up right here. And then we'll start making our way back down to the raft. And take a trip over to Herbivore Island and take a look at there. There is also another cave that has quite a bit of the crystal and stuff in it. Over by there, it's one of the artifact caves. It's a lava one. I think it's just inside the cave has crystal. So maybe we'll stop there and see if we can actually grab some. You're doing okay on weight. And then I want to see about the dragonflies up here before we go to try to get some of that together for the setup for the pterodon. Let's take a look real quick and see what we need. Thought I unlocked it. So we need 75 on the chitin. That's not too bad. We might be able to find enough of that up here. Let's take a trip real quick on this side and see. Usually down over here. We're kind of on the swamp side. It's where you start seeing a lot of the uh, dragonflies. Now, if we get one of the the frogs, that'll be good for getting the cement paste as well as some chitin. You're right. I don't know if that's raptors. Probably not. That might be ants. There's a ton of those over here, too. Super sketchy, dude. Super sketchy, man, going down into the forest. I don't want to jump off that side because we can't get back up here. Oh, there's dragonflies right here, right here. Just one. I mean, that's fine, that's fine. We'll kill them off as we see them. You know what's going to suck? Oh, dude, there's another one. With the tall grass, it's going to be super hard to find these and the ants whenever you kill them. Where'd you go? So that's actually almost all that we need, right? 43. Let's put this into that as well. See if we can find a couple more real quick. And that'll be the saddle we need for the pterodon. And then we can start working on probably in the next video getting one tamed. There's one ahead of us right here. Yep, yep. I don't want the berries, buddy. I don't want the berries. There we go. There we go. Yep, see? <laughs> Super hard to see it. Where did it even... There we go. Nope. There we go. Try to find one or two more. If we ping those, I don't think they show up unless they're aggroed on you. There's a ton of them, dude. There's a ton of them. Is that the ants? Those things are massive now. Kind of cool. We gotta watch out. Usually where there's some of the flying ones, there's also some of the ground ones. Yep, 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 yep. Like that. Bunch of them. Bunch of them. I wonder why those aren't tameable. One of the weird creatures that could definitely do some damage. If you have a bunch of them. Like a huge swarm. Yep, see, we're missing like three of the bodies over here. Is that one? It's a stone, I think. There we go. There's one. What are we at? 74. We literally need one more. I don't see any. Oh, the Parasaur. Let's start making our way back. Before something happens and we run into another pack of raptors, everybody keeps talking about having problems with alpha raptors everywhere. I have not seen a single one. Not that I want to. I'm just saying, I have not seen a single one anywhere. We could always kill off a turtle back at base, too. We might have a piece of the keratin, which will make, kind of make it enough for the saddle. Is that... Compies. Not worried about them. I'll just keep running past those guys. But yeah, I'm not seeing any of the Alpha Raptors anywhere like everybody keeps talking about. Don't really want to. That's a light coming through. It's like super green. I thought maybe it was a drop coming down. It's a little patchy right there. 
This is the other side where all the metal's at too, dude. So much of it over here. It's where I usually put my raft at, is right down to the bottom of this. And then there's a raptor down there. And then make my way up the mountain and kind of around the side. So much metal, dude. So much. We'll do a run up here for sure once we get an Anki. Definitely want to get one of those here soon. And a Dodic. The Anki is mainly for getting all of the... The flint and stuff for making our gunpowder and spark powder and stuff. Definitely need one, dude. Definitely need one for sure. There you go. Couple more dragonflies. Let's kill these guys off. Grab the rest of the chitin. It's a parasaur down there running. I don't know what from. I'd like to not find out, please. And thank you. One more. One more. Oh, there we go. There we go. All right. So we're gonna miss. Have no idea. Where that guy fell at. There we go. That's enough there. Not sure where the other one went. Doesn't matter. We have everything that we need for making our saddle. Which is a fantastic thing. Always hard to get that first starting amount of chitin together for that. 75 is quite a bit, dude, when you're starting off. You can fight the turtles and trikes, but dude, you use so many arrows and stuff trying to fight those things. <gasps> I see a tail! He's stuck in a rock. <laughs> I'm totally fine with that, dude. Seagull. Please don't rob me. Please don't rob me. There's a trude on there. Where's a raft? Way down here. Oh, look at all the dragonflies. They're all along the beach here. Or a raptor's running, too. I mean, he runs from everything. He could see his shadow and turn around and start running. Kind of worried about trying to get the parasaur back up on the raft here. Might have a problem with that. Buddy, can you jump? Can you jump? You can't. Need to back it up here closer to shore. We're gonna get nibbled on by the piranhas, I think. Nope. Made it back. Just swing it all the way up by the shore here. Give us enough room where we don't get stuck on the rock trying to leave. There we go, man. There we go. Junior! Made it easier for you to get up there now. <gasps> Raptors! Please, do not hit my raft! Okay, well, we're gonna do this. Oh, they pounce! I forgot they pounce! Please don't pounce me! Please don't pounce me! Stunlock! Stunlock! There we go, there we go. We're right! We good! Stop running! I killed him! I want to hide. <gasps> Is that another one? Boy, I tell you what! Stupid Orva Raptors, man! Alright, put you over here. <laughs> we'll check the bag. There might be some arrows in there for us. Because we got a whole one arrow left. Oh, we got 12. Oh, fantastic. We got this as well. We don't need that. I like it, man. I like it. Alright, so back to base we go. We'll drop off. I'll tell you what. Instead of going back to base, we'll just go ahead and go right to Herbivore Island. No, let me swing back by base. Let me drop off the stuff that we have just in case we die over there for some reason. We got the chitin that we need, and we got a little bit of crystal. How much did we get? We got 58 on the crystal. That's enough for a little bit of crafting if we need to for the moment. And then we'll uh, we'll kind of go right over to Herbivore Island, see what's there, maybe stop in the lava cave, grab a little bit more crystal, and then we'll go back to base and do some crafting on dyes. See how they look. I'm really hoping the blue is what I'm looking for, man. All right, so we are back at base. Let's try to get this guy docked up right next to the stairs. A little bit, a little bit at a time. There we go, man. There we go. Nice, dude. Nice. All right, let's leave you here. Might just leave him on the dock over here as well. Right there. That'll work, dude. That'll work. All right, so let's grab the crystal. Put that inside. You got two points. Put that all into weight. And what level are we now? We're 49. Okay. Almost level 50. Let's put this in there. And all that for later. We'll save it. Put our food on the grill. And I think what we might do is go ahead and just do our crafting right now for the dyes and stuff. Before it gets too dark, I want to be able to see in the daylight how it looks and stuff. So let's take a look and see what we need. We're going to need some skins for sure. And I noticed that some of these need the berries, and some need the special plants. It's kind of weird. Let's take a look at the blues. That's kind of the one I saw that had the, the two. So this one needs the blueberries. And then, where is it? One of these needed... 
some of the special new ones, like that one. It's kind of weird. I wonder why all of them don't require the new stuff. Like that one does too. Hmm, interesting. Anyways, let's grab... We don't have a water skin at all. I think we need to unlock it. We're gonna need this. We need to unlock... That. We need some fiber too. Let's make up just two of those. Two should be fine. That should be plenty. I'll only use it for this anyways. Let's leave that and that. We'll grab this for our fuel. That way it doesn't mix in with making charcoal and stuff, you know what I mean? We should be able to get it off of the stairs here. Not far enough in the water. Yep, gonna need to move the boat, I think. Just a little bit. Pull it forward. There we go. And we can still access the stairs and get on the raft at the same time. I'm excited, dude. I'm excited! Check out the dyes. Alright, put all those in there. Let's grab the berries. I think we need some charcoal, too. Those. You're super overweight. We should have some of the narco berries in the parasaur. If not, we'll go ahead and grab some. Wait, let's take out the... Let's do folder view. We got the charcoal first. Alright. Light you. Disable autocraft. Let's do that. That's a little bit easier. Then we can leave all of our stuff in here at once and craft up just what we want. I think we need these and those. We want dyes. We want blues. Let's make two of those. We're going to need some more of the water. See how it looks? I think we get five for each one. Right? Haven't made basic ones in a cooking pot in a long time. So there's ten. Let's do some of the dark ones. Gray scale, that's what I want. We want black? We want gray. Shadow coloring. Let's try that. Let's do one of those. I need to get some more water. I think ten of each should be fine. We need to repair our armor as well so it kind of looks good. What of you? Let's grab some fiber real quick and some hide. Repair our stuff. Oh, I was like, where did it go to, dude? Repair you. And you. And you. And you. And you. Alright. Check out some dyes here. Turn you off for the moment. Get out here in the sun. Getting kind of dark already. So, for the... Wait. Did I not grab the dyes? Oh, it's there! Interesting! So, can we keep those on us all the time? They have zero weight. Interesting. Well, that's different. Not sure how I feel about that. <laughs> Let's start off with our shirt. So, we got color fields 1, 4, 5, and 6 that are available. Of course, we'll do that. Do that. That. Is there a white one? I don't want to look yet. I don't want to look until we're done. Is there white? Grayscale. That's slate. That's white there. Light fire. Crap, one of you. I want to do like the tie and stuff, right? For the uh, string. We'll do that white. What are these? Wisp. I don't know what that is. Silver. Let's do white for now. That'll be fine. That'll be fine. Alright, so we want to do... Field 5 white. That should work there. Kind of hard to see. Where is the sun? It's behind the clouds. 
That's not too bad, dude. It almost looks black. It's very dark blue. I... That's kind of the color that I like. It's super dark blue. I like it, dude. I like it. Alright, let's do the rest of us real quick. See it before it gets too dark. So for the pants, we want to do... It's a lot of fields. Main field, blue. The socks will do... Slate. This we're going to do white. That will do white. This we're going to do slate. And that we're going to do white. Maybe for the... The pack on the side, we'll do it... Different color? I mean, that's fine, that's fine. Kind of stands out some, you know? I like it, dude, I like it. Alright, so, let's do the hand guards next. Or the hand wraps. Gonna do that as slate. We got our shoes. Are those one color? Multiple. Let's do those slate. And these we're gonna do white. Not worried about the headpiece, we'll just do slate because we have it. It's all one color anyways. That is awesome, dude. I like it, dude. I like the new colors, man. I can't wait to get, like, some flak and stuff and paint it, see how it kind of works out. Now, I was thinking about doing some painting on the base, but with the new textures for the stone, you don't really need to. It actually looks like stone, so it's kind of set. I don't want to paint the wood either. We will do some painting on this side, though. Are you out of wood? Let's grab some wood for this real quick, and we'll head out and check out Herbivore Island. Let's just split this into 100. Get you crafting up. A lot of metal, man. It's kind of like all the metal that was over there. But what else do you have? I want to put all your stuff into the refrigerator. We'll leave that for now. I have to transfer that. It's going to take forever. A couple trips to get it into storage. So that's good there. Let's leave some of our meat here. I didn't realize I had so much on me. Let's close our doors. Keep the compies out. Nice, man. Nice. All right, let's leave Junior there. Like I said, we might just run into that cave to see if there's stuff there. If there is, fantastic. We'll grab a little bit and come back out. And kind of see where we're at from there, man. Ah, dude, I like it, dude. I'm really excited about all the dyes and stuff once we get more things to paint. Mainly the other armors. Can we actually make it out down here? We might get stuck right here. It used to be deep enough. Yep, I need to go the long way. Look, I do not want to get beached and have to make another one. I don't think we can pick this guy up. So let me go the long way around. Hopefully we can make it over there before it's dark. Oh yeah, let me look at something. Everybody keeps telling me we can put this on our belt. I don't know... How? Put on belt. <laughs> There's so much wrong with that, okay? I'm... I... Let's take it off. How do we take it off of our belt? Remove from belt. I'm... Look, dude. I don't know what to think about that. I'm not even gonna comment on it. You know. You already know, okay? We're gonna leave it like it is. It, it could've gone on the side or on the back. I'm just saying... I'm just... <laughs> I'm just saying, man. Uh, dude, Ark, man. Never fails to come up with weird stuff. So this used to be all open water between where my base is and Herbivore Island. There's actually more little islands out here. I'm glad they took some of the kind of like the barren areas and filled them in with other things. It's kind of nice, man. Adds to it and kind of changes the map a little bit from what we used to know about it. Now there is a difference that I saw as well. Back that way, there were some alpha sharks. They follow your raft. I don't think they used to do that. I thought it used to be just leads would follow you and that was it. But they were coming for me. There was four of them, man. Four alpha sharks in a pack. Not sure what that was all about. They started chasing some of the pellas that were on the... on the surface, so... But yeah, kind of curious how the underwater looks over here, too. It was all kind of barren around the map borders and stuff. I mean, we're kind of by the map border. But it's definitely different over here, man. We got some more art. <gasps> it's a Leeds! Um, we're kind of closer to over here. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. We're fine. We're fine. That thing is massive, dude! Like a big tuna fish. Yep, he's coming for us. He's coming for us. Too shallow, too shallow. You tried? Okay, you hit me. I was gonna say, you tried, didn't you? So, 
We're in a bad spot. Let's turn around. Let's turn around. You can't come up here. We're kind of up on the uh, the ledge, man. So leads are definitely a thing still. But they changed it around up here quite a bit. There's some more of the kind of like the big rocks. We're playing bumper cars here with the the land. For the most part, it looks the same. A lot more vegetation. It looks like over here there's not the little cove either. It was kind of like a cutout in the rock and stuff. Hmm. Interesting. I hear a basil. Is there a basil in here? It'd be kind of funny if one spawned right in here. It's kind of deep here. At least it used to be. This is different too. It's kind of like a little channel now. Deep enough to put one of your teams in here though. Kind of keep it safe. I don't think the sharks can make it in here. They used to not be able to, I don't think. I have to repair our raft, man. That thing took like three bites out of us. Oh, it's still got the cutout cove over here. Let's leave that there. Super shallow. And pterodons. We might come over here to tame our pterodons. Level 50. Kind of neat colors. I'm not a fan of that cyan kind of looking blue. But I mean, that's kind of like one of the logos for ASA is that cyan color. We might come tame him. Now he does have blue and white on the back. That would be perfect, dude. Hopefully he stays alive. Hopefully that guy stays alive. That'll be our first team for our pterodons. Yep, it's still the kind of little cove cut out over here. Nice, man. Nice! Try to hit up top and see what's different up there. See how the backside of the island is, and then we'll head over and try to grab that crystal before it gets dark, and right before we go. Hopefully we don't die in there is the only thing. I mean, it is an artifact cave. However, we're not going very far in. Dude, the grass is no joke, man. I like it being tall, but it's also a terrifying thing because you can't see what's around. Now there are, I think, two drops on this map, or on this uh, island here. Or maybe one. One or two supply drops, so it's kind of a cool area to build. We got the Ankies over here. Might come over here for Ankies. And if you didn't know, this is Herbivore Island. There are no aggressive creatures, so it's kind of nice. Good place to start off if you can make it over here. You got metal nodes. You've got the supply drops like I was just talking about. Plenty of access to the water around. It's just not too safe getting over here. Now, it used to drop off dramatically, like right here. Yep, there's a shelf there. And along the back side here, you can usually find some of the rare Lepleridons. Kind of a neat creature, man. Little baby trikes. We're fine. Oh, I thought he was coming for us. <laughs> I was going to say, you're fine, dude. I'm not going to mess with him. Nice, man. Nice. Ah, dude, I like it, man. I like it a lot. Let's head back to the raft. Head across the water, hopefully not get munched on by the leads. And we'll try to find us that cave real quick and get some more crystal. The big Bronto. We jump off. Well, okay, guess so what? Yep. Let's say we jump off and not exactly die. Kind of close. Horrible colors, buddy. Horrible colors for you. A baby para. Level 10. If it was higher level, we would kill that one off and take it back to base with us. Hmm, I think I want to get a lot of our little ones that way instead of doing the breeding and normal taming. Most things I want to steal the babies from just because it's different, right? All the arc, all that we've done is normal taming on stuff, so kind of cool to have a different way to grab creatures. So I think I passed it. I'm actually doubling back right now. This might be it right here. It is. It's kind of hard to see because all of the new scenery, right? But this is where we're going to. Show you on the map where we're at. Right there on the side, kind of see that cut out there? I ended up almost up in the swamp, dude. <laughs> I knew something wasn't right. So, we might go in here and go right back out. Might have been a trip up here for nothing. Gotta watch out for raptors up here, too. Sometimes one will spawn in right as you're leaving the cave. There should be an opening... ...right over here. Yeah, there we go, man. There we go. Nice! Let's go ahead and do the weird thing with... ...the torch. We're hungry. We'll put it on our belt. We're gonna put our point into fortitude. We are level 50 now, right? We are. Fantastic. Alright, so... Is there crystal? There is! Alright, we're loading the cave. A little bit of lag. Give it a second. Give it a second. You can't get it from there. Nice, dude. Nice! So all we need is a little bit of scaffolding or a creature that we can actually climb on and all that crystal up in the sky. Or in the uh, roof there, we should be able to get. Grab this one. Gonna take away from our light though too. Kind of like that ambient light. Looks fantastic. But that's already more crystal than we had from our first trip. Oh, we're out of stamina. Let's drop that. Drop that. 
Our food's going down super fast. It's fine. It'll help us heal up from falling off that cliff a minute ago, too. That's a lot of crystal, dude. Holy crap. All right. I want to see what else is in here. We're not grabbing the artifact. It looks like the lighting in the caves is so much better, dude. Easier to see. And again, we're not using the gamma settings. The torch on the belt is massive because you can actually use weapons and stuff. It just... It looks weird. Like, there's a lot of stuff down there about to catch on fire. <laughs> I'm just saying, dude. I don't want to go too far in because that's going to be for the artifact cave run. But all that crystal, man. Ton of crystal here. I'll probably come and farm a lot of this up while we're uh, trying to get our stuff for our greenhouse going. Yep, because all this here is actually crystal, too. Nice, dude. Nice. Like I said, it's going to take away from the light that's in the ceiling. Quite a bit of lag. However, if you know Ark, you know that caves are laggy until you've been in them a couple times. Let's them load in. We got another 96, plus we got some of the rare mushrooms. Gonna need a lot of those for making our stuff here soon. Go ahead and head out, man. Head out. Be safe. Grab all of our stuff. We didn't die today. Ah, dude. Well, not too bad of a day. Got a raft made. Kind of one of the main things we needed for getting around until we get us a pterodon. We've got a bunch of crystal. We got the dyes going. Dude, I like the dyes, man. The dyes look fantastic on the new clothes and stuff. Next video, we'll probably go ahead and try to get our first flying tame. That'll be a pterodon. Probably go back and do the one we saw on Herbivore Island. Kind of like the colors of it. And then it's kind of low level, so we don't need too much of the meats. However, we are going to go ahead and leave this one here. Hope you enjoyed the video. As always, thanks for watching. And we'll see you in the next one.